Welcome to Dental Vibes, I'm Gabby. And I'm Carla. And if you're new here, we have been dental assistants for over a decade now. Mm -hmm. And in our channel, you can expect to see contents for our fellow dental assistants, but also for anybody that wants to take care of their oral health. So if you're returning back, thank you so much for your support. Don't forget to hit the like button. And if you're new, welcome. Go ahead and subscribe to our channel. We put videos out every week. And today's video is gonna be super short, straight to the point. Mm -hmm. You guys been requesting this a lot. A lot. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so you guys been requesting for us to do a video on suctioning techniques. So we're just basically gonna show you how we do it. So let's get back into the operatory. All right, before we get started with our patient, let's review a few things. Um, because we need to learn, right, how to hold a suction, how not to do it, and just other little tips that we're gonna show you. And then we'll also um, kind of put out the actual methods that you probably heard from school. Which we probably forgot already since it was <laughs> so long ago. Yeah, we've all learned like our own little techniques, yeah. right? Okay, so for the high suction, to me, this is where you get all the control, right here where you have the lever. And you gotta find a position where you have a finger available that you're opening and closing it and keep that grip on that area because it, that's where there's the most weight and you can control it. So this is kind of, I would either do like this or just really like Gabby mentioned it to me, I hold it like a pen. That's how I control it and I use my thumb. How do you do it? Pretty similar. Um, mm -hmm. I would say like a pen. I probably do it here and there but you know I feel like my goal too mm -hmm. is kind of like yeah. this and then you can you can turn it on and off with your thumb or even with your index mm -hmm. finger just kind of yeah. back and forth. Yeah. But this is a way that I'm easily mm -hmm. um, pushed right. anywhere I have to go <laughs> and I have control. Right. So. Now, using the saliva ejector, it's pretty easy. This is pretty light. I can just go like this. I could even, again, hold it like a pen. Um, just this lever is pretty easy to use, right? There's no yeah, uh, no. too wrong of a way to hold it. This is pretty simple. I mean, you're, most of the procedures, you're not mm -hmm. going to be using this the whole entire time. You're just going to be kind of like in and out yeah. whenever you need it and whenever the patient needs to close. Yeah. And um, I would say the one thing that you want to remember not to do with the side with the saliva ejector is that it's very flexible. Yeah. So you don't want to try to retract like the tongue or yeah. the cheek and suction it with it. Okay. Yeah. It will just bend. Yeah. So it's not gonna work out yeah. for you. This is just great to have handy for the patient to spit. I don't like when the patients want to spit on the high suction. Yeah. Because suction their tongue yeah, out. Everything. The lips. Like. <laughs> Let's talk about uh, the wrong way of how you can hold it. Keep in mind that doing this, just bending your wrist for every day, many years, it can hurt your wrist. So you don't want to do that. You want to find the most comfortable position for you. So I feel like if you hold it like this, everything here, you feel that tension. Mm -hmm. um, how? And the other thing is like, if you hold it too far back like this, you don't have control. Mm -hmm. And you can try this yourself. You'll feel how all this weight it's just like, no, not mm -hmm. working out. Or if you hold it too far out here, this can come, come out. <laughs> yeah, so don't trust that either. Right here, what do you feel is like a, a wrong way, like for you would be awkward? I would say the same thing, like even yeah. um, if you hold it like almost in the middle. Oh yeah. Right, because yeah. then you have this kind of pulling your mm -hmm. hand down and this is kind of you know, dangling yeah. everywhere. Just go straight here mm -hmm. where you have control. Yeah. The last thing that I want to talk about is that I know that at the beginning, I used to do this too. Like I'm just holding, oh, look at this. <laughs> I'm holding on to the suction for dear life. So I'm just oh, like yeah. here waiting for the doctor. And it's like, at the beginning, since you're still working out how working out learning how to work with that doctor and learning how you're gonna work, you can't hold on to things. You have to put things down. Yeah. And have your hands free because then you may need to pass an instrument, you may need to pass on a material, mm -hmm. uh, you know, maybe hold the patient down. Like I don't know, I highly 
I always like reinforcing this, keep your hands free, put things down. So we're working on the lower right. So you remember, like we said, you're always gonna need to retract something, almost always. So here I'm gonna retract the tongue and you're gonna place your suction right there. And the tongue sometimes is going to bully you, mm -hmm. is going to push your mirror out and you wanna make sure to be firm because if he pushes me out, my suction can hit the handpiece like that. And Whoa. you don't, <laughs> you don't wanna do that. So yeah. you gotta really push that tongue down firm mm -hmm. and then put your suction in there. And if the patient wants to swallow or move or do anything, you have to make sure to get out of the mouth, everything and mm -hmm. stop. Also, um, Gabby, come back here. Um, she is gently pushing on that mirror, so she's not really pressing on the floor of the mouth because that hurts. And when you put the high suction, are you using the mirror to kind of rest your high suction sometimes? Because I, I do that. Sometimes I do. Just yeah. so that I also don't hit the floor of the mouth. Yes. Because that hurts. Um, also, some people think, okay, well, you know, the tongue is not really doing anything crazy. I mm -hmm. can't just come in here and push the tongue away with the suction. Mm -hmm. That's not a good idea because you see, the suction is going to start yeah. suctioning the tongue and the mm -hmm. floor of the mouth and it's not going to be stable. So you never mm -hmm. want to rely on just your suction. Yeah. You always want to make sure you've got a hold of the tongue and then you can go in there. Also, let's remember that the doctor doesn't always work like this, right? They don't, sometimes they may block the assistance view, right? So mm -hmm. what do you show us, Gabby, what we do? Like we have to kind of think outside the box because they may also come like this if they're working on the lingual, right? Yeah. And that's even tougher for us to like, where do you go? Yeah, and so here you're gonna have to try to find yourself, yeah. maybe just go on this side a little bit, but at the end of the day, if there's no room for you to get in, the doctor knows that too. So they would take breaks and let you go in and suction. Okay, now we're moving on to the upper right. And this is about how the doctor would set up. And tell us, Gabby, how we would suction. Okay, so you're gonna bring your suction around all the way to the back like this. And then mm -hmm. the mirror at this point is gonna start fogging up because there's, there's water, water. Yep. the patient is breathing. So you're gonna go in here and you're going to start spraying air mm -hmm. to unfog the mirror. That's usually how it's gonna go. Now let me throw you a wild card because sometimes the doctor will come again and be like this, right? Yep. Blocking a little bit your view. So in that case, this area is pretty easy to get to and we got an open space here. So you're just gonna stay right there. And now if there's a lot of water coming, mm -hmm. sometimes you need both. Yeah. So you're gonna come over here, mm -hmm. rest on the last molar right there, and then you're also gonna get your saliva ejector because depending on you know how much water is coming down, mm -hmm. this is not gonna be enough. Yeah. So you have to tack it with two different things. Now we're gonna go to the lower left and this is how the doctor would usually set up, right? So, A little yep. bit more tricky. So now, of course, we're gonna have to retract something again. We're gonna retract the lip and the cheek and I'm gonna position my suction right there. And the doctor will be retracting the tongue and, um, mm -hmm. and again, you know, you might say, well, I don't really need the mirror. I'm just going to yeah. go in here and put my suction. But what's going to happen, you're going to start suctioning the cheek and it's going to yeah. sound loud. It's going to be a mess. So and it's uncomfortable just, for the patient. Exactly. So just go ahead. Always have your mirror ready. Retract and your suction goes all the way to the back and you're ready to go. Now I keep saying this is how the doctor should work. But should, work. should work. But we all know sometimes the doctor will be like, excuse me. Yep. And you know, just kick you out of the way and they will come right here. Right. And it's like, wait, who's retracting the tongue? Who's whatever? It may be just like a little second that they need to work. But what, what do you do in this case, Gabby? So it depends. If you do have room to come towards the front, retract mm -hmm. the lip right here, and then mm -hmm. put your suction there, mm -hmm. that's great. If you don't have room, then we're gonna use our saliva inject. And still, mm -hmm. I like to try to retract the lip as much as I can, yeah. and then put my saliva injector in there. Yeah. 
And we have to, at this time, be checking on the patient that it's like, okay, how's the water over on this corner, mm -hmm. right of the mouth? Um, are they gonna drown? Yeah, because sometimes it's like, okay, you're getting all the water yeah. over here, but, but over there there's a puddle. So mm -hmm. sometimes you have to go. Yeah, go back and go forth. Go back and forth. So let's move on to the upper left. Let's say we're working on the uh, number 12. And this is how the doctor will set up. Again, we have the mirror there, so we need to keep the mirror um, clean and dry for the doctor. And how do we section? Okay, so you're you're thinking, okay, let me just come over here and mm -hmm. we're good. But again, if you don't have anything retracting, you're just gonna start um, suctioning the cheek. Mm -hmm. So before the doctor positions, I'm gonna put a cotton roll right there and then I'm gonna rest my suction on that cotton roll. Mm -hmm. So that way I'm not suctioning his cheek or lips. Yeah. Um, and also not resting this directly on that um, fold. Yeah. Because it hurts the patient. And... For sure. And then of course, the mirror is gonna need some air. So here I am. Okay, so air in the mirror and you're suctioning right there. But now you're suctioning from mm -hmm. this angle Definitely there is gonna be some water yeah, down there. Back there. Okay, so you just have to really multitask <laughs> it really so, fast. <laughs> so if you see there's a puddle there, yeah. you're gonna let go of this for a second, come in, suction, get out. And now you come back see Gabby did not move the handpiece yeah. while she was sneaking in the saliva ejector. You yeah, exactly. You don't wanna oh let me go grab something and yeah. no, no, yeah. you really wanna make sure to say um, mm -hmm. firm so your suction doesn't move. The worst thing that can happen is for your suction to bump into the handpiece and then the doctor um, ends up cutting yeah. another tooth or something like that. Okay, so let's pretend now we're working on like 14 or 15. Mm -hmm. Now this cotton roll might be in my way, so I'm gonna remove that. And I like to use the cheek retractor. The trick retractor, the, the, the dry angle, dry angle yeah. to retract the <laughs> to cheek. Retract the cheek yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go in here and place it all the way back there. By the way, when we, when the doctor's working on the patient's left side, that's like the most difficult side for us to work mm -hmm. on in suction because it's, it's just is retracting this lip. It's, I mean, this cheek is hard. So now that I have the dry angle in there, mm -hmm. I don't really need to come in here, retract the lip. I can just position my suction mm -hmm. resting on that dry angle right over there. But again, every mm -hmm. time we're working on the upper, you're gonna have a puddle mm -hmm. on the other side. So here I will be again, alternating between the saliva ejector to go and get this puddle over here mm -hmm. and the yeah, air. Water, yeah. So you're gonna be alternating back and forth and back and forth and sometimes the doctor will see that you're kinda mm -hmm. struggling, multitasking and it will give a little break so you can yeah. switch but that's just how you make it work. And they may also, the doctor may push you away and then all of a sudden come this way. To work on the buckle. And work this. And you know, this you would have to, well, you can use this um, high yeah, suction, but there. I will prefer the saliva ejector because there's a very limited space right here where I'm wiggling my finger. All right, so usually mm -hmm. I kind of go back and forth between right here mm -hmm. and right here, depending on where the water's coming from, right? Because you want to make sure that you catch the water as it comes out of the handpiece mm -hmm. and you catch the puddle that's going to yeah. form in the back of the throat. Yeah. So I just kind of go from, you know, back and forth or you can come on the fascia here and yeah. you have your saliva ejector back there. Ideally, what are we going to put this? A cotton roll. The doctor will put a cotton roll there and it helps the doctor and us, mm -hmm. you know? Because again, we're just trying to protect the soft tissues. So then you'll come right here, and then sometimes you still have to um, yeah. spray air in the mirror, mm -hmm. right? Or if there's no air needed, you can just be right over here. And then like I said, you know, if there's a little puddle, you go in. If not, you're good right there. Mm -hmm. The doctor's gonna be working on the facial, but right here. So then this here is we pretty are. easy. Right and there. you have the saliva ejector ready 
to suction it back. Or you can suction with this one. Or you can suction with this one. You can go back and forth. Back so and this forth. is pretty, this area this pretty is, easy. This area is pretty easy. So let's just go ahead and jump to the lower since it's very similar. Yeah. So. So if the doctor's working on the facial, um, you still have the little problem of the tongue. Yeah, depending on the patient, you see he's a very chill patient. <laughs> Some patients that have a crazy tongue and the tongue will be coming closer to the teeth here. So you do have to retract mm -hmm. the tongue back like Carla's doing right now. So it really depends on the patient mm -hmm. when it comes to this area here. But the water is going down that way, so yeah. that's where you're gonna put your suction, yep. right over right here. There. Okay. Now let's say we move in uh, um, behind towards okay. the lingual. Okay, so then again, we're gonna borrow this. You're gonna come, wow. Perfect. You're gonna come right here and rest your suction right there and sometimes the doctor may come here with the mirror and you know because they have more of a um, direct vision at this point and they help you out and you know patients probably going to be uh, collecting a little puddle back there so mm -hmm. again you come with your saliva ejector or you can kind of hold the lip here and go back there really quick, but mm -hmm. you want to make sure you have room to do that because yeah. if the handpiece is in a way, you don't want to bump it to the handpiece. Yeah. So that's why sometimes just switching from both of them is um, easier. All right, so I hope that our tips can help you out there in the weird world. Mm -hmm. Is definitely uh, going to be completely different from <laughs> yeah. watching us do it and, you know, mm -hmm hearing our tips and then you actually go and do it yourself Trying it out <laughs> uh, it could be very nerve-wracking at first yeah. but you're the more you do it you know practice is key and we always talk about this you yeah. just got to practice it and find your way to be comfortable uh, for me the key thing is try not to hurt the patient because even if they're numb they would feel later on they could develop a little sore so just not hurt the patient with the suction. Also, don't get in the doctor's way. Try not to uh, bump into the doctors because they will move a lot mm -hmm. <laughs> and makes it a little bit extra challenging. For sure. For me, um, I think it's you have to find a comfortable way that mm -hmm. you can multitask. Yeah. You can be firm and hold that tongue, hold the lip. But the more you do it, the more comfortable mm -hmm. you will be. And also opening that communication with the doctor mm -hmm. and the patient. So. Sometimes, like Carla said, the doctor can hog yeah. <laughs> all, all areas a little bit. And, you know, it's okay for you to say, hey, doctor, is it okay if you go over here and I go over here? Or, You're poking my yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or like, hey, you know, is it okay if I, you know, do, mm -hmm. if I retract and then you mm -hmm. go this way? You can always communicate with your doctor and you can say, hey, I can't yeah. see or, you know, yeah. something like that. But also... You want to make sure to communicate with the patient because remember, mm -hmm. we are in control. We want to make sure that we don't hurt the patient, that we make yeah. this uh, um, as comfortable as it can be for the patient. Yeah. But at the end of the day, we have to do what we have to do. Yeah, and talk, to, you, talk to the patient because you have to be like, hey, I'm going to let you know when you can close your mouth and spit. Mm -hmm. And by the way, you also have to, um, you know, live up to that because then you have to constantly throughout the procedure tell them and remind them when they can do so, when it's safe for them to do that. Yeah, because our patient was yeah. Amazing. Excellent, yeah. So That's not real it's life. It's not real life. You're going to get patients that is going to have that tornado tongue. You're going to have patients that are going to be... Um, you, you guys <laughs> wanting to go into pedo. Yes. That's going to be not gonna crazy. They're not going to open their mouth or they want to spit every two seconds or they want to swallow every two seconds. Mm -hmm. And it's going to get to a point where like, okay, yeah, you need to let us do what we have to do because or else we're never gonna finish. So you yeah. wanna be able to make sure that you let the patient know, I'm in control here, you need to breathe, you need to relax your tongue so we can do this. Mm -hmm. So tell us, what do you think of the video? Drop us a comment. Of course, don't forget to like this video and if you haven't done so, subscribe to our channel and we will see, see you, you next, next time. time. Keep, Keep smiling. smiling.